Hello, wonderful people of God. So we come your way this month with exciting news from the camp of our man of God, Dr. Abel Damina, as he shares insights with us on the knowledge of the scriptures concerning the character of God in salvation. So we want you to stay glued to your screen as we broadcast this every day and do the work of an evangelist for us by sharing this message always. Also, like this message and then comment whatever you learn in the comment section. Thank you. And if you're new here, please don't leave without hitting on that subscribe button and that notification bell. Thank you. Ephesians chapter 6 verse number 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Next verse. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Next verse. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So there's a wrestling. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So there's a metaphor, and the first metaphor there is wrestling. It means a hand-to-hand -hand combat. A hand-to-hand -hand combat. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood. So there's a combat. This metaphor, you know, it's not a metaphor for wrestling. It's a metaphor for combat. This metaphor is like the uniform of a, royal, a Roman soldier, a centurion. All the way down to the sword helmet of salvation breastplate of righteousness belt of truth shoes of peace sword of the spirit shield of faith that's the armor of a roman soldier and brother paul is saying there will be a combat there will be a forceful engagement because we are talking about eternity we are talking about your relationship with god forever you've got to get up your loins you've got to stand firm and put up a defense and put up an answer of the of the hope that is in you brother joe i mean brother jude reiterates the same thing brother jude in jude chapter 1 verse 1 pay attention jude chapter 1 verse 1 jude the servant of jesus christ and brother of james to them that are sanctified by god the father and preserved in jesus christ and called are you sanctified are you preserved are you called so you are the one jude is talking to you are called you are beloved of the father you are kept for jesus christ that means all of us then look at after addressing all of us he now begins to talk to us in verse 2 jude chapter 1 verse 2 mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied be multiplied you know, people think apologetics is too troublesome and opposes peace and love and mercy for people. Peace, uh -uh. And you know, even here there's a conspiracy that they're teaming up to tell their church members to go out on an all attack against me that I am attacking the church. <laughs> that me, I am attacking the church. So the church, the church that I'm attacking are merchandisers. The church that I'm attacking are the people that say if you don't give tight things will be tight that's the church of jesus the church that i'm attacking is the church that is teaching that if you don't sow a seed you cannot get anything from god that's the church i'm attacking right the church that i'm attacking is a church that mutilates the scriptures and uses the scriptures for material gain and they call that attack they call that attacking the church <laughs> as if i am moved <laughs> we are just starting. You know. I hope you all know. We are just starting. The church must be sanitized, cleaned, and restored to the way Jesus meant it to be. Say, I hear. So now, Brother Jude goes to verse 3. Listen to verse 3. Jude 1 3. Beloved, is there any beloved in this house? When I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend 
for the faith. Contend. Somebody said, no, you don't have to defend the gospel. God will defend himself. See your mouth. You should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Earnestly contend is the word abagenesumai in the Greek. Abagenesumai. Abagenesumai. A B A G E N E S U M A I. The word contend. It literally means to wrestle, to engage in a hand to hand combat. To wrestle, to engage in a hand to hand combat. So, Brother Jude is saying he wants love, he wants peace, he wants mercy to be multiplied to you. But he also wants you to engage in hand to hand combat, which means there is no contradiction. In being a peace loving Christian and engaging in the combat of apologetics. There is no contradiction in being a peace loving Christian and engaging in the combat of apologetics. Giving a reason of the hope and answer for the hope that is in you in Christ Jesus. And how do we do this apologetics? The weapons are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We engage mindsets. We engage thoughts. We engage reasonings that contradict the knowledge of Christ. We engage thoughts that fight against apostolic traditions, apostolic teachings, the foundation of the church itself. We engage those mindsets. We engage those thoughts, those reasonings. We bring them under subjection to the obedience of Christ. That is apologetics. We are to engage in the combat over sound Bible teaching. Over sound Bible teaching. Somebody comes up to oppose sound Bible teaching. We sit on him. And if you find out you alone are not doing a good job. You call 4, 5, 6, 20 people you have contacted with on WhatsApp. Tell them, meet me on this page. We have some business to do there. All of you enter the man's page and take over the page. And colonize the page. And straighten the record. Don't stop until he stops. Be the last man to speak. After some time, come back and check if he drops something. Because social media is the new world. It's the new world. Everybody is there. Why are you looking at me like that? It's the new world. And that's one place we need to stay. Five billion people. That's over half of the world. You don't have to pay transport to go. Just stay in your house. And set men free. Glory to God. Ask your neighbor, do you understand? We're in a war against mindsets, ideologies, thoughts, traditions that contradict the truth of the gospel. I didn't hear a good amen. amen. Contend. Give an answer. It's all over the scriptures. Brother Paul will stand before, you know, uh, uh, Agrippa and put up a defense. The man will say, you are be beside yourself. Too much learning makest thou mad. Thou almost convinced me to be a Christian. <laughs> Glory to God. We are so grateful for having you here on our platform. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And also, like this message for us. Do well to comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from. Thank you, Message Community.